guys welcome back to my channel today I am doing a different trip a road trip with my friend over here Aliyah say hi, hi. <laughs> and we are doing Ptarmigan Cirque which is located in Kananaskis as you can see behind me it's already spitting snow which is so weird as we didn't see this while we were getting out from Calgary and the parking is packed looks like everybody decided to come and see the largest in full bloom today so let's go for this weather who would have thought that it's gonna snow today of all the other days and we didn't even realize that it was gonna snow it didn't even show in the forecast and it's just a little past 10 a.m. we are both underdressed for this hiking no proper hiking boots I feel like my layers aren't enough but here's hoping that we stay fine and reach the trail it's a 4.2 kilometers round loop and we are going to make it to the end of the trail so stay tuned Two ladies told us in the trail that the hike actually starts on the opposite side of the road. So we had to actually cross the Highway 40 and the Ptarmigan Cirque Trail starts from there. We again confirmed it with the other hikers and found out that that was indeed the trail. The elevation isn't much, it's only a couple hundred meters, but the snow in the trails made it really slippery. Our runners barely had any grip and we had to be extremely cautious. I even ended up falling twice on the trail because of how slippery it was. We were surprised to see people with kids hiking in this trail even in this bad condition which really motivated us to keep climbing and make it to the top of the ridge. The view started clearing up after one kilometers of the forest line. All the elevation gain is in the forest line and once you climb to the top, the elevation stays constant and the larches can be seen. Since it was snowing from the morning, the mountains were covered with snow and it looked like a winter wonderland. The flurries kept coming at us. There's a waterfall which is situated at the end of the trail, but obviously the water froze due to the snowfall. The larches became half. As you can see, they already started 
shedding their needles and we only got to see a small part of the larches in the hike. Although the hike itself is very famous for the bloom of larches in fall season, but the snow interrupted the blooming and the larches started shedding their needles. Overall, it was a really adventurous hike. And even though it was super slippery and not what we prepared for, we had a great time hiking this trail and still being able to see what's remaining of these larches. It took us about three hours to complete the trail. It kept snowing and the trails were really slippery. Normally it wouldn't take us that long. It's only a 4.2 kilometer hike and the elevation is only in the first part of the trail. But it was a really adventurous hike. What do you think? I think it was a little bit cold but good. I had a runny nose but it was nice. Yeah and we really didn't expect this to be as good as it was. The snow on the trails made it interesting for sure. And it was her first hike in the season, right? For this year? Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Yes. <laughs> so yeah, guys, so that's how the trail looked like today. Right now, as you can see, the sun is out and it's sunny again. That's Alberta weather for you guys. To be honest, it's completely unpredictable. It's snowing and now it's completely sunny. So, you can already see that falls here. The larches are kind of falling from its deciduous trees. The reason why we went on this hike was to see the larches in full bloom, but I think it's probably gonna last for one more week or maybe not, since snow season is pretty much here. Anyway, if you have liked my video today, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Hope to see you guys in my next video. Till then, bye.